Now, I want you to describe the door to me. Is there a porch? Do you just walk up to the door? Is it a it's private like a house? It's like a screen, and you open the screen door and go to the door. So it's a private house? Yes. Do you have to walk up a porch? I'm just like a little to get the check and leave the medication there. You didn't answer my question. Is there a porch? It's not. It's just Are like a screen steps? door. Are there steps? No, no steps. You just walk straight into the house. Mm -hmm. So you have to open the screen. And go to the door. Did you open the screen? Yes. Was there an envelope attached to the it door? Was. It was. Did you take the envelope? I take the envelope. Then what happened? And then before I put the medication at the door, the little kid, four years old, opened the door and the dog came out and bit my hand. Who is a four-year-old that lives in your house? It's our grandson we're raising. And what kind of a dog do you have? Great Pyrenees. So a small child opened the door? Mm-hmm. Had you rang a doorbell? I didn't ring the bell. Had you knocked at the door? I didn't knock the door. You had already taken the check? I took the check and I was about to put the medication. After you were bitten and you left the house, did you leave the house with the check? Yes. Did you leave the house with the medication? It was in my hand, but he took it after. He took it? Yes. So after the small child opened the door mm -hmm. and the dog came out, Mr. James came out? He came out after. What did he say to you? At first, like, he was like a little bit rude to me. And it was like, he didn't even say sorry to me. And I was like, what's... Don't tell me a little bit rude. I'm not interested in a little bit rude. I asked you what he said to you. Oh, he's like, are you okay and all this stuff, that's it. Just, are you okay? Is um, that what he said? Yes. And what did you say? I said, yeah, I'm okay. And what did he say? Nothing, we just called 911 to get there. Who called 911? Ash called. He wasn't there with you. I called him, I, I was like, I didn't know what to do. So I called him to like, tell him what to do. So he came. Was this the first time you had made deliveries for your friend? Yes. So you called 911? Jack? Yes. I Great. Sit. And where did you go from there? I went to the hospital. You went to what hospital? Countryside Hospital. Were photographs taken of your injury? Yes. I'd like to take a look at them. So this was on your hand? Yes, my left hand. And how many wounds were there, one or two? There's like one in my finger and one right here. And they washed it out? Yeah. the hospital? I... Yes. Okay. And they gave you a Band-Aid? Uh, yeah. And then you contacted a lawyer? Yes. On what date did you contact the lawyer? After like a week after. Why? Because I was waiting for him like to pay the bills for the hospital, but he didn't. Oh. Did you ask him to pay the hospital bill? We did at first. Like after I hired the lawyer, I did. After you hired the lawyer? Why yes. didn't you call him before you hired the lawyer and say, listen, I went to the hospital just to make sure that it was okay and they put a Band-Aid on it, but I have this hospital bill now that I have to pay. I before lawyer... you went to a lawyer? Because, like, the lawyer would get, like, fast and, like... No, the lawyer wouldn't deal with fast. The lawyer would get you more money. And the lawyer said, forget it. No, he, like, he con uh, contacted him. He contacted him and asked him if he had insurance. He said he had no insurance. The lawyer said, forget it, because he had no real injuries. So did you go to another lawyer? No, I was with the same lawyer. But the one lawyer told you to forget it. No, he didn't tell me to forget it. Well, then why are you here in small claims court? Because he tried to con uh, contact him and tell him, like, to pay for the bills, but he said, like, I'm not going to pay for the bills. So that's why I...